Welcome to Zap Test Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will show you how to create a simple test case and run it in different browsers. First, we will download and install Zap Test. Go to zaptest.com website, proceed to downloads, and then install the latest version of Zap Test. For launching the Zap Test Free Edition, you will need to create and activate an account using the Sign Up tab. If you already have a ZapTest account, you can go straight to login and use your credentials. You are now ready to work with ZapTest. In this example, we will be using a demo website, demo.zaptest.com, and we will demonstrate how to automate a login page. We will start by adding a new object to our repository. Click Scan GUI on the GUI Map tab. Now we select the application to scan. In our case, we will be choosing the Chrome browser with open login page. Then we have to create a new application object and a view for the login page. ZapTest will create all recognized OCR objects and objects based on edge detection. For the first script, we need only a few items. Title, username label, and the password label, along with text box fields, and the login button. We will select those items and delete unselected items that we do not need anymore. Next, we will rename some of the objects for better understanding of which object name relates to the real object. In cases with text boxes, we usually use relative objects. The username text box should be related to the username label and the password text box to the password label. To set the relation, press the Select Relative Object button in the Object Properties or on the GUI Map toolbar and select Parent Object. Now we are ready to create our script. We have a few ways to write a script. We can use the object repository located on the right side or the GUI map located at the bottom of the screen to generate object code. We can also type all the code from scratch. Let's start by opening the browser. There are a few classes of objects that we can use. In this lesson, we will be using two of them, application and object. We will manipulate with application by using drag and drop of the object into the code editor, then selecting the launch method to launch the Chrome browser. We will add the application name, Chrome, and the site URL. We will add another line to close the application. It will be the same application object, but with a different method, close. Next, we will manipulate with object by clicking it, typing some text or checking if this object exists, and some other manipulations. For this example, let's check that the title object exists. Drag it from the GUI map and select Method Exist. We are ready for our first execution. Click the Run button in the toolbar and ZapTest will run this script. After the script finishes, it generates the report where we can check the results of each operation. ZapTest supports all features of Visual Basic and JavaScript languages. In this tutorial, we are using VBScript. We can create some variables and use them in the code. Another big feature of ZapTest is parameterization using data tables. Using parameters, we can do a few iterations of this script. For example, we can run this script in multiple browsers. To do that, we should add some data into the data table and use it in our script. Let's change our script for launching it in two different browsers, Chrome and Firefox. ZapTest will execute this script for us. We are ready to write a real test case for the login page. Rename two data table columns to username and password. This will allow us to use a different username and password for each iteration. Drag and drop the text boxes to the code editor and use the type command for entering the username and password parameters from the data table. Add the login button object and select the click command. We may also add an additional click to the title to prevent the browser from helping us enter the username and password or to prevent a security hint. 
How can we check that the user is logged in? We can find an object on the page that appears when the user is logged in, like the welcome message. Let's add it to our test. Click the Scan Application button on the left toolbar in the GUI Map tab. Click in the application, create a new view, select and keep the welcome message. Now we can add the new object from this view to our script and we will use the exist method. Let's check the script. Save the script and click the Run button. Zap Test will now log into the demo website in two different browsers, check the welcome message, and generate the results. Now we are going to handle some conditions where the username or password is wrong. We are going to add a new column to the data table, real user. Here we will use the true value for correct user credentials and the false value for wrong login or password. We have changed the password in the second line to an incorrect one. We will add a new if else statement to validate an error message. In order to check the error state, we need to also add a new view, like we did in the previous step. Open the demo website, enter the wrong login or password, and create a new view with the error message. Here we need only one object, error message object. Now we need to add validation of this object to the if else statement. Our script is ready. Now we can complete our data table with Opera and IE browsers and run the script. We can see that we are using only one script for cross-browser execution. For more information about ZapTest features and functionalities, please navigate to our how-to portal, either through our forum page or through ZapTest help on the ZapTest website. Thank you for using ZapTest.